these films like are super handmade and we are we, we are like five years in this project now since we started and so you have to have a deep need to do that, not only um, a, a desire, but a, a necessity. I think uh, to be to produce a film like this, you need to have a, a how to say like a need to 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 serve. Uh, not only the director, in the, uh, not only Natalia, but cinema itself. We love cinema. Uh, that's what brings us together. The film is about the fear. Uh, the fear that we can we can feel of not having a common project as a community. I think that uh, the fact that we are uh, not linked as a community and and you know that your community is not going to support you in the future somehow. I think you. I think that that makes you fear the present. My intention was to transmit a psychological dimension. I had to really, really p uh, trust in the cinematic language, in the movement of the camera, in the work of the sound, where I feel a l very much comfortable with, um, and, and all the elements. It was very difficult for me to put words in the mouth of a woman as Maria and as the police commander. It was very, very difficult because I can only act from my frame, social frame, and I can only translate that with my values. So I didn't want to um, lie somehow or put invented emotions or invented words in, a, in, a, in the mouth of a woman that I cannot really perceive life through her position in life. So that was very difficult for me. And um, so I trust very much the cinematic language to transmit the, 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 the theme of the film. Mexico is a, is a very complex country. It's difficult to describe to, to friends from Europe and, and, and also to, to American friends also. It's difficult to describe because um, it's, a, it's a country that I always see like a, like a Hindu god, like with a lot of faces and a lot of arms and a lot of like um, possibilities. Uh, so, it's difficult to describe um, Mexico, so you have to approximate that this description through an through ambiguous and abstract way, I think. It's a surreal country, because everything is possible somehow. I always ha uh, had to intention to do a collective portrait, like my... For me, all the characters are and all the women especially are one somehow, like uh, different dimensions of the same person. Uh, because I think that the film is somehow a call for, for empathy that is lost. Uh, so so it'll have the, the, the necessity of the, uh, identify yourself with the other, I think is something that it's that we, we are lacking of and we need to construct again. We imagined the film like in every detail and found a lot of people that colla collaborate for, for the film. So it seems big somehow, but we, we did it with no much, not much money. Yeah, I, I but would, with time. In a regular basis, it could cost the double that, that with the money that we had. And, and so we, it was a lot of, uh, strategies, how to use it, and how, how was the best way in terms of to reflect the use of the money in the screen and, and what, uh, what was Natalia's vision. I would like to add that the Mexican funding system is, 
is very healthy in the sense that it's not tied to a television or it's not tied to any platform, it's, it's independent. So, so films like this are still produced and can be produced uh, as long as they are very connected to the, what the director wants to do. So it's, uh, we're in a good moment and we hope that this uh, financial situation in Mexico keeps for many, many years, but it's uh, also thanks to that. Yeah. They are funds that are fighting to live uh, in the nowadays. Uh, it, it's it's not it's not easy uh, because it's it's less less and less and, and and it's becoming tighter and tighter. I think, but but we have the possibility to 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 have those funds, and that's a, a, a huge blessing for all the creators of all arts in Mexico. Yeah, yeah I, I say that it's like the resist, resistance, mm -hmm. because it's, I mean, if these funds, they stopped, then it's going to be very hard, it's, it's going to be very hard to make these kind of films. And especially now uh, with the platforms coming into the country and taking all the, I mean, the market, and it's, it's complicated to, 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 to even more to sell these films, and it's, and we're in a struggling time because it's with the cinemas closing down. It's I mean, this, we make films for big screens, and if you watch this film in a, in that uh, ambience in, with in a big screen with the correct sound, then it's a totally different experience. So it's kind of sad that that now you you put all the effort to make this yeah this film and then en end up in in small screens. <laughs> Without getting all the, getting all the, yeah, all the experience.